Tonight, Russians vacating compounds shut down by the U.S. Russian President Vladimir Putin, however, dismissing Washington's payback. Instead, wishing President Obama and his family a happy new year, saying in a statement, quote, we will not stoop to the level of irresponsible diplomacy. It is a pity that the President Obama administration finishes its work this way, but nevertheless, I congratulate him and his family a happy new year. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov recommended Putin expel 35 American diplomats from Russia after the U.S. ordered 35 alleged Russian spies to leave the U.S. by this weekend. We cannot let such escapades happen without a response. The Russian Foreign Ministry, together with our colleagues from other departments, have made a proposal to declare 31 staff from the Embassy of Moscow and four diplomats from the General Consulate of St. Petersburg as persona non grata. President Putin, likely waiting for a far friendlier administration under Donald Trump, did not take that advice, saying in his statement, we will not create problems for American diplomats. We will not send anyone away. With a stroke of drama, Putin even issued this invitation to American children. In response to the new U.S. sanctions, I invite all children of the U.S. diplomats to the New Year and Christmas Children's Show at the Kremlin. Signed, yours sincerely, Vladimir Putin. The U.S. shut down two Russian government-owned compounds, one in New York, where law enforcement was seen outside, and another in Maryland, a 45-acre property purchased by the Soviet government in 1972. Today, vehicles were seen leaving the Maryland estate and returning to the Russian embassy in Washington. The White House says the Russians working at the compounds were spying on the U.S. Russia, however, refutes that the estates were being used for espionage. I think uh, it's quite scandalous that they chose to go after our kids, you know. They know full well that those two facilities, which they mentioned in their notes, their vacation facilities for our kids. And this is Christmas time. Four of the Russians sanctioned by the U.S. are part of the Russian military intelligence unit, known as the GRU. One of them is the unit's chief. It's assigning blame to Russia's military intelligence service, but the actual perpetrators of these hacks are contractors, if you like, people who have been found by the Russian government to do their dirty work for them.